O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. I can't believe it. It's already the 23rd of April. Check that out, man. Wow. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That last line, man, always is like, I've been reading these cards for so long, folks, okay, but I still have a tough one with this last one. Here's what it is. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 244, NASDAQ up 245, S&P's up 56. Gold, gold contract up eight, uh, down $8.80, trading at 2,337 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $27.45 an ounce, a light sweet crude up a buck and a half, $83.35 a barrel, copper, copper's down five pennies at 4.45 a pound. Notes and bonds, 10 year note, up six ticks, trading 108.01, a 30 year up five ticks at 114.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading down four, 391 ticks at 105, 686, Euro 107, Yen 154, British pound, 124 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we start off with the SPY. What you're gonna see out here is that we came back, we filled the gap, Bottom line, you did it with lighter volume. We take off top side again. You know, we're coming into earnings. Bottom line, we're, we're up five and a half bucks right now in the SPY at 505. And the first time that I see any uh, resistance at all is up at 512. So you got another seven points higher. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs, same type of setup in the three Qs. Now, the difference in the three Qs is that the three Qs came all the way back to its breakout area, which is really positive, by the way. With light of volume, rejected lower price, takes off again, top side again. You get, uh, we got 32 million shares traded. You're at uh, up 661, 425. The first time this is going to get any flack is up at 435. So you now got another 10 points higher. Gold. We could take a look at the gold contract. What we had with gold out here this morning, they got gold down to the 2403 number. Maybe it's four, 2304. Uh, we did 256,000 contracts, so what we have is this, is that you have a contraction of volume, you got the rejection of lower price, and that just says higher we go once again. And then if we take a look at this, this is where this is going to get interesting, because if you take a look at this, let's see what we did here. Yeah, we did a 50% retracement of the last move up. Okay, not bad. You know, we had to do something, man. <laughs> That's the bottom line, the way this was just running away, um, you know, and you can see in two days, I mean, you talk about, <laughs> they can take the gold market pot so much, it's just amazing, actually. But bottom line, guess what? It's back on and it's back topside. We go into the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market, and what you had out here, my take is that you had the 10-year bottom last week. We rejected lower price again out here today. You got to 107.20. We or 108.01, you know, bottom line, what I'm expecting now is that you're going to get more buyers in this market, and we're going to have higher price, lower yield once again. And then if we go over to the good old dollar, we take a look at the dollar. The dollar, and this is what's giving the market breathing room out here today, folks, okay? You're down 387 ticks. The dollar's had a hard time getting any type of traction going. We didn't make the 107, so it's going to get interesting now because if we could get, get a couple days like this, this will get back inside this lower range. So the lower range inside the dollar starts at 104,970. So you're about uh, 800 away from the lower range. But today, guess what? You get action. Let's go to Tesla. So Tesla's coming out with numbers after the close. They come out, they have a conference call at 5.30. The low for the year is 138, the high is 299. They are going to be looking to 
take to the top line, 22.3 billion, and 52 cents to the bottom line. Bottom line, 101's coming at us, and we're at 144. So this is going to be so intriguing. It's going to be really wild watching this thing shake out, man, because this has been quite a, a downdraft uh, for, tes for Tesla. You know, the first leg from the highs, it went from 414. You went down to 206. You bounced to 334 and then come down to 101. From the 101, you bounced all the way up to 300. And my take is we're going back to 101. And if that's where we go, you are going to see a lot of hurting because at one, my take is that 101 sees a high volume high. But if we get to 101, then my take is that you actually have, you could get the $64, which would be just a total mind blower. But $64, I've seen it, man. I've seen it that, and where I'm going with this, that's the last time you had volume on the way up for Tesla. Isn't that amazing? Every single leg up, you kept losing volume all the way to the top. And just to give you an idea, at the top, on a monthly, you had 1.9 million shares traded. The top before that was 2.1 million shares traded. The top before that was 4.6. And the top before that was 7. So watch. It was 7 million shares traded on the monthly at $64. Next high, it was 4.6 million at $96. Next high was 2.1 at $300. And then the next high was 1.9 at 414. Bye bye. See ya. Don't want to be ya. And that is going to throw some chaos into good old uh, Elon Musk. That's, that's, yeah. There's no, no two ways about that. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. We have, uh, let's see, what do we got here? What's, well, NVIDIA's up $29. You have uh, JetBlue's down a buck and a half. We have Cleveland Cliffs is off a couple bucks. If we go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here, Oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay, so you got Microsoft putting 41 positive points, Goldman 40, Caterpillar 40, taken away from it, United Health minus 37, my Boeing minus 11. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.